Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm just explaining, okay, that the court finds based upon the court record. Uh -huh. The law requires the order to say if the respondent received notice of the hearing and by what method. Mm -hmm. This is the court record. Yes. When you issued the protection order in 2011, I was arrested on Guam, right? <laughs> and uh, Guam had jurisdiction. Now, you did not give me any due process. Mm -hmm. I went through a court hearing that had quite a few, well, maybe five to ten actual docketed court dates. Yes. That were on the Superior Court case summary. Yeah. <laughs> now, um, this concept that you can just have court hearings. You cannot docket the actual petition of any petitioner without actual subject matter, right, and personal jurisdiction. Now, this order for dismissal, yes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Superior Court of Guam, yes, Superior Court case summary, yes. There was an actual Superior Court case summary that Guam had, yes, mm-hmm. Criminal case number CM0746-11. Mm -hmm. Now, you would say, I don't need to go to this extent, but I want to really beat this into your brains that you have had no jurisdiction of law to obstruct my rights as a father. And that's what I'm going to do because you've refused to acknowledge the laws of the United States. Now, the people of Guam versus Paul Chad Budnick. Okay. Guam is a territory. Yes. Mm -hmm. Something very similar that we've seen in some of these others. Right. <laughs> State of Washington, County of Clallam. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Bruce Hanafi. Oh, I certify under penalty of perjury of the laws of the state of Washington <clears throat> that the foregoing is true and correct. Right. Uh, signed 8th of March 2016 at Port Angeles, Washington. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, you would see a similar response from my public defender. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, instead of a motion to dismiss, right, 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 would be a certified statement and there'd be the penalty of perjury. Yes. Now, versus Paul Chad Budnick in all capital letters, yes, as a defendant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This matter came before the Honorable Mark Michael J. Bardolo mm -hmm. on July 11th of 2012. Yes. Now, actually... It went before the judge on the 11th of July of 2012. I looked for that date, but I couldn't find it. <laughs> and evidence being presented to the satisfaction of the court, the Superior Court judge. Yes. Now, therefore, it is ordered, as in there is a docketed entry to the actual Superior Court case summary of Guam, right, <laughs> that this matter, the matter of the arrest that took place on Guam, yes, each and every one of the court hearings that were docketed on the Superior Court case summary, yeah, and is hereby is dismissed with prejudice, right. Now, they, they left the door open that if I violated probation, I could get in big trouble. Yes, I could. Mm -hmm. Now, I know. Okay. Just leave it where it's at. <laughs> and the record herein is expunged. Oh, <laughs> exactly what record was expunged? The arrest and court hearing docketed record of the Superior Court of Guam. Persuadent to 8 Guam CA, yes, code something 11.10 and 11.11, official records of the Superior Court of Guam, yes, the Department of Law and the Guam Police Department police report, oh, the Department of Law. Mm -hmm. Now, that is inclusive of the judiciary of the Superior Court of Guam. Now, in the last few days, we've been talking about the police report, yes, where Heidi had alleged domestic violence and child abuse. Mm -hmm. 
I had some evaluations, right? I had numerous court hearings. Yes, I did seven hours of parenting classes. Mm -hmm. All of that had been docketed in, what, 2011, while I was a resident of Guam. Now, I was allowed to leave Guam on January 7th of 2012 with a passport. When I got here, <clears throat> this court had issued a permanent protection order. Yes. Uh, entry number 10, docketed date August 12th of 2011. Yes. A permanent order for protection while I was on probation, while I was on Guam. Now, based upon what court record did you issue a protection order in 2011? The only court record that is here, yes, is the petitioner petitioning the court. Now, she made a couple confidential reports, but I was not arrested in Washington State. I was not arraigned in Washington state and the state of Washington never had any jurisdiction of law. Now the court finds based upon the court record, what court record, this court record, where is any due process to myself, any notice or opportunity to be heard? Where did the court have any actual court record of myself receiving any notice of court hearings. Now, the law requires the order to say if the respondent received notice of the hearing and by what method, <laughs> because the judge needs to verify that service complied with court rules timely and proper. <laughs> Do you see from here to here that any of the court rules was actually enforced when you issued the first court order. None of the court rules were enforced. There was not any state statutes enforced. There were no federal laws enforced. Nothing was enforced according to the law. Now, the only reason you issued this was because I was arrested on Guam. There is no court record of the state of Washington. You did not have original jurisdiction. You did not issue it according to the law's requirements. And I've asked you to remove it. 